Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> G'day, Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing Lichtenberg Fractal High Voltage Electrical Burning. Now, this is super dangerous and so like I've hidden from you um, the high voltage source because I don't want anyone to go out and do this themselves at home because literally people kill themselves doing this. These two wires are going to be super high voltage we're talking 2,000 volts, okay? That's enough for the electricity to jump about two centimeters through the air. Now, if all over the internet is this Lichtenberg fractal wood burning. Yeah, most people do it on like a board like this, but I'm going to do it on a cylindrical piece of wood and see what happens. So something a bit different, um, hopefully it works. It's gonna be a bit of a science experiment to find out whether it does or not. I can't see why it wouldn't, so how about I get into it? So the first thing I'm going to do is attach this piece of wood to this base just by having a screw through the screw through the center. There we go. That's nice and firm. I've got some bicarb soda in the water here. And what that does is that makes the wood conductive. So it makes the surface conductive. Um, otherwise the electricity just won't travel through it and so I need to wet it with this um, sodium bicarbonate mixture. Sodium bicarbonate is a salt and salts are conductive because they've got charged particles which are able to move. I'm going to attach a ring clamp, a ring clamp and then to my ring clamp I'm going to attach the electricity like so. Hopefully that will um, provide a full surface of contact. Let's bring this one here. Let's go there. Connect that up. I'm going to put on my safety glasses and stand back a little bit. Plug it in. And are we ready? I'm going to turn it on now. It's on. Okay, I can see smoke. Can I, oh, hey, I can see some electricity on this side. I can see some on that side as well, on your side. It's going from the top down. Is there any coming from the bottom up? This will be interesting. It's traveling from the top down. It's, there's a bit of fire, there's a lot of smoke. Well, that looks pretty interesting. I'll turn that off. Woo! <laughs> sort of work. Oh yeah, got some pretty pretty fractal patterns here. A fractal is like a, a pattern that just keeps on going. That's a pathway as soon as it comes to another, it makes up the pathways and just goes on and on and on and on and on. Let's let's juice it up a bit. Let's see what happens, eh? Alright, let's find out. What happens this time? Here we go. Plug it back in. Goggles on. And turning it on. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. Whoa. <laughs> Three dimensional fractal burning. Turn it on. Oh, it goes so much quicker once it's started. Seems to have made a pathway. And it's just travelling down that pathway. Wow, this time instead of using bicarb soda, I'm actually going to try some vinegar. Vinegar is a very weak acid, and look, acids are conductive as well. So, why not give that a go? There's a bit of a reaction happening there. Let's put some vinegar on. I wonder what that will happen. I wonder what will happen with vinegar. I've got no idea, I haven't tried it. There we go. Yeah, that's an experiment, isn't it? Put my goggles on. And plug it in. And... It's on! I can see a little bit of smoke. Certainly not working as quickly. Now we're going to get some sparks. It's steaming. But 
I don't think that it's going to happen. No. Okay, doesn't work with vinegar. Let's just try bicarbonate again. Let's put some bicarbonate on. Turn it on. Oh, here comes the smoke. Okay, I've got a few sizzles, a few sparks of electricity as the current travels. Started in the middle. That was interesting. Very interesting. Getting some little sparkies here and there, a few little fractals forming. I could probably try sodium chloride or normal table salt to be honest. This is definitely going to work now. Plug it in. Ready, set, go! Here we go. Oi! It's lit up. Oh, like a Christmas tree. Look at those. Look at those. Look at that electricity traveling. Woo! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that. That's wonderful. See some, there's a fair bit of soot, but you can certainly see some beautiful fractals burnt into the wood. The lithium burst, the high voltage, pushes the electrons through that um, high resistance. Um, due to the high resistance, they, the electrons are giving out a lot of heat, and that heat is burning, burning the wood, producing that wonderful effect. Well, thanks for joining me today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the episode. I've learned something, and that is uh, vinegar is no good for these things. Bicarb soda is the way to go. All right, bye for now.